And you are welcome back. We're joined now by our author for today and our book, who is known for very many things. His name is Tosin Imohieme. He's here for an interesting conversation as we review his timeless piece titled 365 Days of Personal Development. Now, this is a very interesting book and a very interesting, interesting author we have here with us. Tosin, you are welcome. Yeah, it's my pride, privilege, and pleasure First to be here. First of all, let me this. acknowledge that you're half caste. Tosin Imohieme. <laughs> That's uh, mothers from what state now? Uh, Ugo State. Ugo State and fathers from Edo State. State. Interesting. Very good. Um, so, your book, 365 Days of Personal Personal development yeah. is a uh, compilation or catalog of different quotes that you've put together in a very, I like to call it bullet size approach. Um, and throughout the entire session today, what has actually happened is that I've, I've had this in my back pocket. Back pocket yeah. So I can imagine yeah. why it is so. Yeah. It's filled with motivational quotes that people can gain from. Zig Ziglar once said, motivation, or people say motivations don't last, but neither does your, your yeah, bath in the morning. Yeah. So you have to always. You know, take one. I always have to reach up on motivation. But why did you decide to write a book solely about motivation or motivational quotes? Okay, so motivation, we all need motivation anyway. You wake up in the morning, you still feel sleepy. I'm sure you felt that this morning. Mm. However, there was a motivation that got you up. Remembering that you have bills to pay, you, you have bet. a job, <laughs> you have people to impact. Yes. So we always need motivation. You need motivation sometimes to go eat. The motivation is the hunger. Mm -hmm. So we all need motivation. You can't negate the power of motivation. The challenge is people always think that they don't need motivation. But the truth is, you may have all the knowledge in the world. You may know what to do, but not to have the drive mm -hmm. to do it, not feel like doing it. So motivation gives you that drive to you know, go get your goals. And we need a dose of it every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. There's a practice that I learned from one of my mentors that every day you read something positive, about 15 pages, he reads 15 pages of something positive every day to keep them going. Because you see, every day you're gonna go face challenges in life, the traffic, stress, issues at work and all that. And while we feed our body, we eat the best meal, amala and all that, yeah. you know, we don't feed our minds. And the real battle is here. Yeah, the battle is in the mind. So when you, your mind is right, then you can face anything in life. And that's why we just need motivation. Sometimes you, for example, you're a salesman, you're trying to close a sale, and you've been trying, trying, and you're discouraged. No, it doesn't seem like there's a light at the end of the mm -hmm. tunnel. What will keep you going? You, have so, you need something to steer you up. And sometimes motivation can not necessarily have to come to, from books. It could come from someone just telling you, don't give up. Yeah. Keep going. Short words or, you know, simple yeah. words like that go a long way in Very pushing interesting. us. When did you write this book? This is what, your number five? Yeah, about my, my fifth book, fifth although book. it's the third in hard copy. Okay. So I wrote it some years ago because I was known as a speaker. Everyone, every speaker has his competitive hedge. And for me... I love quotes a lot. I love to recite quotes. I love to memorize quotes. And I decided, okay, let me compile quotes because when I speak, people always say, oh, who said that? Mm. Uh, please, can you rewrite that quote for me again and all that? So I thought about it. Okay, let me put up a book, a nice. compilation of my favorite quotes. And specifically because people find reading an arduous task. Mm. People don't want to read. So... It's when it comes easy, it's like you it's a, want, want, you to, want you to eat a plate of eba. Mm -hmm. When you see it, it may look so, you know, equally. But and if it comes to sachet. Exactly. When it comes, <laughs> e, you know, you just think. I don't know about sachet eba, <laughs> but in any case, and that's one thing I actually like about the, the, this book. It's actually very digestive. There's, there's a quote that says, you sorry, can... there's a quote that says, by the yard it's hard, but inch by inch, anything is a cinch. By the yard, it's hard, it's hard. But inch by inch, inch everything is a cinch. cinch. Very interesting. Is that your best one? Is it somewhere in here? Uh, yeah, it's somewhere in where it's on my... Well, that, let me, let me show you my so best many. one. <laughs> my best one's uh, Trina Pulse. It says, uh, how does one become a butterfly? You must want to fly so much that you're willing to give up being a caterpillar. I actually mm. like that one the best. Yeah. And it's, it's very interesting that you can actually finish this. Just read it. Um, in one go, but I would advise that people don't read this in one go. I think that Even the if little read bites of, in, of motivation that you take maybe once in a while is actually much more uh, advantageous because you kind of like dwell on that and see the applications in your life. Even if you read it in one day, it takes, you know, it's one thing to read, but comprehension takes yeah. a longer time. It's like eating and digestion. 
digestion is it takes a longer so you need to quote our short words right. from long experiences yeah. so sometimes you may just read a quote and for a whole day you're still thinking about it yeah, you're trying true. to ravel the meaning so that that's what the book is all about you may finish it in uh, so little time but yeah to comprehend, to yeah. really understand like I it. said, I don't think you should finish it in such a little time. <laughs> now, let's talk about this book, its application in our lives, especially the past two and a half years, three years. Uh, 2020 was such an out... It was a terrible year for most people because spending time back at home and all, um, people lost their jobs. A lot happened that needed people to be driven when we came out of the pandemic. We're still yeah. in the pandemic, by the way. But when we came out of the lockdown and all, people need to be driven. This could have uh, been very helpful, must be very helpful to people who have experienced very bad things through that period, even up until now. But as a motivational speaker and someone who's put together a book with motivation, a motivational quotes, what would you tell people who are still experiencing or still in the throes of um, that period of time? Well, life is filled with ups and downs. And most times they're disguised. They, they, they come in as problem, but there are usually opportunities in every challenge. As you may call it the pandemic for some people, that was the year they cashed out. It was an opportunity. The health sector, that was the year they had to work more. And a lot of people, a lot of opportunities, for example, people now have meetings on Zoom. The founder of Zoom at the time made $4 billion at some point in 2020. So for him, you wouldn't see that as a crisis. You would see it as an opportunity. So I think challenges, I wrote a book titled Pain is a Gift. For every pain that comes, there's always a positive side you know, to it. So people shouldn't be too... The, the challenge is we are too rigid. You learn to be flexible. Do you understand? One of the quotes, there's a book quote that says, in terms of um, strategies or in, in terms of principle, be as hard as a rock. But in terms of strategies, be as flexible as water. Nice. So there's a, there's a, there's a proverb that says, you, there's usually several ways to do something. For example, 1 plus 9 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10. So people shouldn't be fixated on one thing. And they should learn to adapt. There are different opportunities, you know. So basically, I would, what I would, you know, basically uh, eventually tell them is they should invest in their mind. There was a time um, in, uh, the United States of America was in crisis, and Warren Buffett, one of the, you know, richest men in the world, was once asked, what can people invest on, you know, to bounce back from the failures and the issues? And he said... The greatest investment you can ever make is an investment in your mind. Mm -hmm. The moment you begin to learn, this, this brain you have mm -hmm. is a total world on its own. This brain you have, it's the possibilities in your brain. Now, <laughs> it's funny that you should use Warren Buffett as uh, uh, an example here because he often is the sample that people, like the archetype that people use as, you know, one of the, you know what I mean. Um, however, the people that you tell or people that actually consume these words of inspiration there is the tendency that it might work in some people and it might not work in work other people. people yeah so what is that factor that makes the difference there and how can that be mended well uh, everyone needs motivation I some people are just so despondent maybe like, you know what <laughs> yeah words i need money that's because that's because they already have a preconceived notion and that's because they're only thinking, thinking about the end goal but not thinking about the process. You need to be steered up. As a salesman, you need to be, um, you need to be fully, what's the word, gingered mm -hmm. to go cross your goals. So as much as we chase money, the ability, the fortitude, and all you need mm -hmm. to really achieve your goals is in the mind. So the moment, that's why you see, you know, every, the beginning of every year, you see corporate organizations spend so much on training their, you know, employees or training their staff because they want you to be prepared. Once the mind is prepared, then you can achieve anything. Now, it's understandable that what works for A may not work for B. Some people would read in school and pass. Some people would listen in class mm -hmm. and pass. Some people would discuss with their friends and pass. So it boils down to you finding what works for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, is, there really isn't any teacher who, would, um, who, who may appeal to everyone. You know, and even sometimes, for every speaker or for motivational speakers, some people may not just buy into him because he's not selling their message or he's not sent to them. So, but eventually, when you found who appeals to you, of mm -hmm. course, something will struck you. So, for everybody out there, 
There is that one person who yeah. definitely can motivate yes. them, especially if they have something in relations or maybe yes, something relative to, yeah. to them. Um, and then let's touch on education real quick. Um, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a you, fortune. Yeah. That's uh, Jim, Jim Rohn. Oh, you know who it is. Well, yeah. But of course, he wrote the book. <laughs> Explain to us how that can motivate a person. So what it basically means is people go to school and they think going to school, having the certificates and all that, getting certified, having a PhD will make you a fortune and make you blow in the Nigerian context. However, it's your personal development that matters. Look at the likes of Whiskey, look at the likes of David yeah. Bonner Boy. It's not their formal education who's made them who they are. You know, let's even talk about someone like Wole Shoenka. Yes, you may, you may have you know, gone through the four walls of an institution, but it boils down to your personal development. It's not what the teacher teaches you within the four rooms of the four walls, walls of the of classroom, yeah. but what you go back home mm -hmm. to revise. Now, do you have a quote on food? <laughs> you have any one? Any? While you're thinking about a quote on food, <laughs> let's bring you over to the kitchen because MM and Mike have something very, very delicious All right. that I'd like you guys, I mean, that I'd like you to taste here. All right. You guys,